Okay, we're going to talk about the rest of this land is your land. You've already learned it down toward the bottom of the first page. We're going to look at the rest of the song today, and you can do as much or as little of this as you like. The first thing I want to do is take you forward to measure 17 to the end, and you'll notice that it's this. You already know that from the introduction. So really today we're talking about measures 8 through 16. That's the new part that we're going to do today. You've come into measure 8 from this at the beginning on the first page. Now this is measure 8. Both hands are sitting in C position. So you do this, 5, 1 in the left hand and then one and three in the right, and that's measure eight. Now the right hand continues to sit in C position as you go forward in measure nine, measure 10, measure 12, takes you all the way to measure 17 which we've already discussed. Now the left hand is the one that just gets a little tricky. It's not a big deal. In measure 9 you'll notice the left hand, it's been sitting in C position, it needs to stretch down one to B. Okay? And the pattern it does here in measure 9 and 10 is just this back down to the B. Okay? By the way, those circled letters that you see throughout the song, like right there when the left hand goes down to B and does this in measures 9 and 10, that G that's circled uh, right here in the music, those are chords. So if someone is playing guitar, let's say, along with you, those are the chords that they would be playing at that particular moment in time. Those are not the notes, okay? So do not rely on those circled letters um, for note names. Those are chords. So ignore those for our purposes today. Okay, so again, the left hand, measure 9 is B. Measure 10. And then in measure 11, you're back into C position. And you stay there in measure 13. and 14 is the same thing you did in measures 5 and 6 already. 13 and 14 again is and then going forward you're back in C position and that takes you to measure 17. Now let's put that all together from measure 8. Left hand to B. to C position note. You're both hands in C position. Coming up on measure 13. You've already done this at the beginning. This is just a repeat. Measure 16 is this. And then you're at 17. One more time for measure 8. first time through. Then you do this at the end of the first ending and there's a repeat sign which takes you back to measure five. Second time through we do the second 
second ending. The only thing that's different about the actual ending, the second ending, is the chord at the end. C position, left hand plays one and five. The right hand goes up from middle C to E and C and plays a sixth. So that ending is I think you can work your way through to the end. You can always go slowly, as slowly as you need to, to get it all worked out, and then gradually pick up the tempo. Remember, our goal is to have this learned by the 4th of July. You're way ahead of the game. So see what you can do this week, and we'll just keep plugging forward until we've got the whole thing done.